Hey there, abiding fam, and welcome back to my channel for another video. I really can't believe I'm saying those words again because it has been two months, more than two months now at this point since my last video, which was the 365 Days of Creative Journaling video, which shared my entire abiding journal from day one to day 365. And today, in this video, we're actually creating one of those pages together. So you're getting to see the process here, and I have tons of journaling process videos here on my channel. So if you're new, I highly recommend you check out all of my other journaling process videos. Definitely check out my flip-throughs of my abiding journal, and that will give you a good feel for the kind of content I create. But this video is going to be geared a little bit more towards my returning abiding family members because, as I said, it's been two months since I got to chat with my friends here on YouTube and in this great journaling community. So I just really wanted to take some time to not only sit down and create a page together, but also have a little bit of a life update, chat about what I've been up to the last two months, why it's been so long since my last video, and my hopes and thoughts about YouTube for the future. So because I want to spend a little bit of time just sharing an update on my life, I did want to acknowledge kind of what I'm doing with this page before I jump into that update because I'm not really going to be talking about the process as much in this video. So I just wanted to first say that this page uh, is really simple and easy and I love it because it's something literally anybody could do because it really just uses collage elements. So I have some paper pieces that I cut out um, actually from an old calendar that I got from the Flow magazine. They have different calendars that they sell with illustrations and whatnot. And so I cut out this great little cafe scene illustration from that and then also the taking a walk in the woods uh, illustration I cut out from that as well. And then I have a little uh, hand lettered piece of Meet Me at the Local Cafe, which is a printable I designed for my patrons over on Patreon. And then I just used a bunch of like craft paper and scrapbook paper and this great washi tape that I got from wish.com to just do some collage elements. And later on, I'll bring out a stencil to put on the dates, but that's pretty much all I did for this page. So it was so simple to do and was really time effective too. As you can tell, I filmed this video in real time or, well, obviously I filmed it in real time. I did not edit it to be faster is basically what I'm trying to say. Normally, I like to speed up some sections of my videos, and I didn't do that for this one because I really wanted to show you the process and kind of the decisions that I'm making throughout creating a collage. Um, you'll notice that as I'm creating, I play around a lot with positioning of different papers and elements before I glue them down. And so this page altogether took me about 20 minutes, including the actual journaling. So you'll notice that this video is about 11 minutes long, and that is because I sped up the journaling at the very end, which typically is the longer portion of creating a page, is actually writing down what happened and the words associated with the design and the creativity uh, that I've put down on the page first. But that's kind of your background for how I've created this page and you'll get to enjoy watching it as I now jump into more of a life update. But I really wanted to just take that moment um, to explain to you kind of what the process and thought was behind the design of this page. And I hope that you guys like this more slowed down 
vibe for the editing of my videos because it's something I've really been enjoying is getting to slow things down and really pay attention to the details of and the thought behind how a page is getting put together. And then the other thing that I liked about this too is I was able to leave in some of the background sounds, which I know some people are really into ASMR, and it kind of gives just the feel that you're actually there uh, creating beside me because you're hearing the tape runner and the paper rip and the scissors, and it's just a fun addition. You're also hearing some TV show that I was watching in the background while creating this page, so we're all going to say a little prayer that YouTube doesn't uh, copyright me in hearing some snippets of that TV show. I couldn't tell what the TV show was that I was watching, partly because this footage is probably two years old at this point. I have just a few, I think it's just this clip actually, and then I have some footage creating a journal cover and footage of one other page that I'm gonna share later this month here on my channel and I think that will be all of the footage finally done from my abiding journal so I recorded so much and had so much backlogged content from doing this journaling in a year that it's taken me forever to actually share all of that content with you guys but we are almost through it and I hope that even though this footage is technically a year and a half old that you're enjoying getting to see the process because the whole point of journaling is that it never gets old because you're documenting memories and you're making them abiding which means that they never grow old there's no such thing as old footage when you're doing it with in the journaling world so all that aside in terms of the process i did want to take a moment just to share um, a life update which is really simple the reason that i haven't been making regular content here on youtube and took a little bit of a break the last two months is because i've just been absolutely swamped in my day job i work in higher education which we all know has just been totally upended by COVID-19, as has so much of our lives in so many ways. And I've just had to put all of my time and energy into that work in this season of life. And it's unfortunately taken a lot of my time and energy away from the things I love to do for fun, like create videos for you guys and get to work on Patreon. So I actually took a break from Patreon uh, in August and September. So I will not be creating any content this month, but I'm really, 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 really excited to be back on Patreon and creating printables for everyone. I'm really pumped to design the October printables because I love getting to design around the fall theme. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I have so many video ideas and I'm just really looking forward to getting back into a rhythm starting with this video uh, where I can start creating content for you guys again. So I have this video, like I said, I have another journal with me that I'm gonna edit and get out to you guys very soon. And I am planning on a really special video as part of my Bible study series where I'm going to share my Bible study highlighting code and in that video I'm going to be offering a free printable that I've already designed and I'm very excited to share with you guys. So if any of that, all of that, I hope, sounds interesting to you, definitely make sure that you are a part of the Abiding Fam by hitting the subscribe button. And leave me a comment um, regarding what you're excited for, what you're looking forward to. And I would love feedback on what you would like to see from my channel now that I'm back. I also have a really fun video idea for like recyclable things to use in your journal. So like budget friendly journaling, just using items around your house. So many ideas, so little time, but I am back. I am creating videos. For you again and 
the reason for my hiatus is just that I was very, very busy with work. So I will look forward to talking to you guys again very soon in another video, but I am finishing my journaling here, which means this video is coming to a close. So I'm going to say adieu and goodbye now and see you in the next one. Until then, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life full of abiding faith, hope, and love. Thank you.